Hi, I just wanted to make this uh, really short video uh, about the, the book I'm reading currently. The Vitamin D Solution by uh, Dr. Holick. It's not an alcoholic, it's Michael F. Holick. It's, he is PhD, medical doctor. And he's a really crazy guy. Um, he knows everything about vitamin D. He was one of the first to find out how um, active vitamin D works in the body and uh, that other cells than the liver can create um, active vitamin D. Actually, the skin can produce active vitamin D, vitamin D which will help to destroy uh, cells and uh, Minimize the risk for uh, cancer, for example. The thing I'm I'm actually currently at page 166, and here he writes um, the same thing as he writes in many other places here in the book is regarding uh, this. I'll just quote this uh, directly from the book: If you get regular moderate sun exposure, you have less chance of developing malignant mel melanoma. New research shows that melanoma is more prevalent in Europe and North America than in the equatorial latitudes, which again suggests that regular sun exposure may prevent melanoma. At the very least, moderate sun exposure will not increase risk of melanoma. So um, again, a very good thing regarding risk cancer and the, the, the risk of cancer, but again, you can't say just because um, there are many birds flying that way, then it. Yeah, you can use the statistics in many ways. So I'm just curious if others have read this book and thought that, well, it the diet is also very different in the um, equatorial latitudes. So um, yeah. I guess that it's um, it's the the whole thing. You need to you need to get enough vitamin D from the sun, preferably. But you also need to go vegan and eat a plant-based diet, high in carbs and low in fat and protein. So um, yeah, you need to read several books if you <laughs> need to, or if you want to know the truth. Um, I have thought earlier I thought that people actually wanted to know the tr truth but as time goes I am um, I think that more and more people just want to live in their in in their little bubble of of uh, of daily things and just be there and and, and and that's quite hard to to understand but yeah so 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 my point here is that it's not necessarily that you get more sun exposure in the um, equatorial areas that you get the less risk of uh, melanoma maybe it's maybe it's your diet or maybe it's your diet and the vitamin D so um, and I also the star solution suggests that that it's quite difficult to get a high vitamin D um, in um, high vi vitamin D level in your blood even though you get a lot of uh, sun exposure. So <sighs> the more you learn, the more you become confused sometimes. But it's it's good. It's a good book until now, page one hundred sixty six, and I will. Probably get back to some of this stuff later on. But what do you think? Is it the sun or the the diet, or is it both, or whatever, man? <laughs>